Hello, it is Ryan, and I was on a flight the other day playing one of my favorite social spin slot games on chumbacasino.com. I looked over the person sitting next to me, and you know what they were doing? They were also playing Chumba Casino. Coincidence? I think not. Everybody's loving having fun with it. Chumba Casino is home to hundreds of casino style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere, even at 30,000 feet. So sign up now at chumbacasino.com to claim your free welcome bonus. That's chumbacasino.com and live the Chumba life. No purchase necessary. DTW, void, we're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18 plus. Lucky Land Casino asking people what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car before my kids' PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. <laughs> Presenting the adventures of Jungle Jim. Last week, Shanghai Lil left Jungle Jim on the Great Bluff and started back to the old lamissary with O.P. Watts and their prisoner, the Silent One. Several hours later, she arrived at her destination, and following a reunion between Bob, Connie, and O.P. Watts, they started making their plans for defense in case the Maharaja returned. Meanwhile, back on the Great Bluff, Jungle Jim and Kolo prepared to face the Maharaja's men. They mined the cliff with powder extracted from bullets. And as the attack started, there was a terrific explosion which dislodged tons of rocks and started a great avalanche. The thrilling adventures of Jungle Jim are pictured each Sunday in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The Comic Weekly, each page printed in full color, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. And now we continue our story. Shanghai Lil, Bob, and Connie McGuire are on the north wall of the lamissary where they have set up machine guns. Bob McGuire has just finished assembling the last gun. Don't shoot, Bob. Don't. We can't waste ammunition. Besides, we don't want to attract attention. Well, it's been a long time since I put a machine gun together. I had to make sure it worked. Well, it worked all right. Do you think the Maharaja will try to come back here? Well, we haven't heard the last of him yet, Connie. Jim's plan to blast the cliff and block the pass may delay him, but sooner or later he'll get here. And when he does, we're ready for him. My only hope is that Jim gets here first. I don't see what's delaying him. He's had plenty of time. Don't worry about him, Mr. Brill. <laughs> I found out one thing. Jungle Jim Bradley can take care of himself. Yes, but I don't like it when we're separated. Jim is... Well, we've been together a long time. Why, Mr. Brill, I think you're in love with Jungle Jim Bradley. What's that? I'll thank you to keep your opinions to yourself, Mrs. McGuire. Connie. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Beale. I didn't mean to say that. Give it. I'm... I'm sorry, too, Connie. We've all been living on the edge of a volcano so long that we're jumpy. Well, let's get started. We've done everything we can here. Now, both of you go back to the lamissary. I'll stay on guard and call you if anything happens. That suits me. Are you sure you'll be all right out here on the wall alone, Bob? With these machine guns, I could hold off an army. Oh, Mr. Brill. You better leave me your field glasses. I haven't any of my own. You can have them in a minute. I'm going to have one last look up the valley before I leave. No, I looked a minute ago, two ago. Do you see anything? Wait. What is it, Mr. Bill? Get down. There's two mounted men coming. Get down, I say. We don't want them to see us. Are you sure there's only two of them? Well, two were all I saw. Well, what would we do if it's the Maharaja coming back? If it is, he's going to have a little surprise party waiting for him. Keep your eyes glued on that big rock. That's where they'll come into sight. I've got more than my eyes glued on that rock. And I'm not going to hesitate to let this machine gun speak for us. Hold it, Bob. We don't know who these men are. They may be friendly natives. Here they come. You're right. And they're two of the Maharaja's natives. I've seen those men before. So have I. Shall I let them have it? No, no, Bob. Don't shoot. I recognize them now. Mr. Real, get down. I tell you, those two are the Maharaja's men. You mean they were the Maharaja's men? It's all right. Oh, they've recognized you. Of course they have. Jungle Jim saved the lives of those two men. They were the ones who went back and set the signal fires for us. You're sure of him? Absolutely. Abu! Man Sahib, let us in. Wait, Abu. Where's Bradley Sahib? We have not seen him, Man Sahib. Fall, hill, blow up. Boom, dirt, trees all fall. The man's scared to death, Mr. Brill. What's he talking about? Don't you remember? I told you Jim was going to blow up the bluff. 
Abu, what else has happened? Have you seen the Maharaja and his men? They'll be back up trail, Mam Sahib. We have no guns. We come here. Did you say the Maharaja is near here? Oh, he's coming. Wait. Abu, where did you see the Maharaja? He'll be back two hours ride, Mam Sahib. Stay behind rocks near trail. You mean he's not coming this way? He'll hide behind rocks near road, Sahib. Bob, do you know what that means? He's waiting to ambush Jim. You mean he's going to surprise him and take him prisoner? Something like that. Oh, Bob, we've got to do something. I've got it. You mean we'll go after Jim? Wait. Abu, will you take me back to where you saw the Maharaja? You will let us have guns, Masayev? No, Mr. Brill. We don't dare do that. This may be a trick. Nonsense. I tell you, these two men are loyal to Jim. Abu, will you help me? We've got to save Bradley Sahib. Are you willing to fight the Maharaja? Bradley Sahib, save our life. We fight for him. That's all I want to know. Bob, did you say you found two automatic rifles? They're right here, Mr. Real. What are you going to do? I'll tell you. Bob, I want you and Connie to stay here and hold the lamissary. I'm going to take these two rifles. And with those natives to help me, I'm going to find Jim. At about the same time this scene has been taking place at the old lamissary, Colonel Hammond has been planning with one of his young officers, Lieutenant Watson. The two are in Colonel Hammond's office at Fort Jamrod, engrossed over a map. Now, watch closely, Lieutenant. When the tanks are ready to leave, I am going to direct them over this route, here to the left. I understand, sir. Two of them will take their positions on this high hill, south of the lamissary. Another will take its position before the gate. And the other? Two will guard the pass to the north, the other will patrol the western wall. But, sir, uh, we have seven of the new high-powered tanks. Or we will have as soon as they're assembled. Yes, yes, I know. You are to have the one that is already in operation. How soon will we be able to start, sir? We should start immediately. I know that Bradley must need our help badly by this time. I hope he's all right. He has a splendid reputation, sir. Yes, that's why I've called you here, Lieutenant. I've got a stiff job for you. For me, sir? Right. That is why I've explained our proposed operations in Afghanistan so carefully. You're going to take that tank into Afghanistan without waiting for the mechanics to get the others ready. You're going to send the one tank on ahead, Colonel? Precisely. It's a dangerous mission, Lieutenant. I'm ready to start whenever you give the order, Colonel. Good lad. I knew you would be. Now listen carefully. These new tanks were designed to carry a crew of four men and an officer. I know, sir. However, on this expedition you're going on, you will have but one man with you. It is of the utmost importance that we know what is going on in the Afghan hills. Our whole plan of operation depends upon our having that information. Yes, sir. The new super tank has been loaded with a shortwave radio, batteries, an auxiliary dynamo, and portable antenna equipment. A complete outfit for communicating. Yes, and more than that. It will also carry ammunition, machine guns, and additional rations. It is because of that that there will only be room for one man with you. I understand, sir. When do you wish me to start? Immediately. I'm ready, Colonel. I have only one order for you, Lieutenant. Find Jungle Jim Bradley. And then work closely with him until reinforcements arrive. Uh, you will, of course, keep me informed of your activities. Yes, sir. I believe that's all. The tank is waiting. Follow me. There's the tank, sir. Right. I've assigned Mechanic Harrington to go with you. Excellent, chap, sir. It's quite dependable. Private Harrington? Yes, sir. Is everything in readiness? Yes, sir. The new tank is working perfectly, sir. Good. Well, Lieutenant, I have nothing more to say to you. Best of luck. Thank you, Colonel. I'll leave at once. You all ready, Private Harrington? Right, sir. Very well. In with you. Goodbye, Colonel. I'll keep you informed. Yes. Go to the lamissary first, Lieutenant. If Bradley isn't there, find him. The rest is up to you. That is all. Carry on. Carry on, sir. Ahead in the Afghan hills, Shanghai Lil and the two natives press forward in their desperate attempt to prevent the Maharaja from waylaying Jungle Jim. How much further is it to where you saw the Maharaja, Abu? Almost there, Mount Kayim. Maharaja behind big rocks ahead. You mean we're that close to him? Here, stop your horses. 
We'll leave them right here behind these bushes and go on afoot. Dismount. Uh, now, Abu, bring those two automatic rifles. Oh, yes, Miss A. Come on. Now, Abu, you know how to use an automatic rifle? Yes, Missy. These guns same as Maharaja. How about Lamasas? I'll say they are. They're the same guns. Keep down. We don't want to be seen. You saw the Maharaja behind those big rocks? Yes, Missy. Horses and men all in the road. I get it. Anybody coming down the trail would come around the rocks and ride right into his gang. <laughs> We'll stop that little game. If Mitty climb rock here, she see. All right. We'll climb these rocks and get as close as we can. Follow me. Mitty, see Maharaja and men there. They're there, all right. I see them. Oh, and there's Jim and Kolo. They've been captured. It is a dramatic scene that Lil watches from behind the great rock. For unsuspecting, Jim and Kolo have ridden into the Maharaja's trap and have been captured. Jim now faces the renegade, Ebor. So, my friend Bradley, you thought you could stop the Maharaja of Ebor by dynamiting the bluff. You have failed. Perhaps. <laughs> but it isn't going to do you any good, Ebor. You're through. Uh, what makes you think that, Bradley? The British authorities will be here within a few hours. Hmm. They've been looking for you for years, Ebor. And this time, you're going to get what's coming to you. Perhaps. We shall see. Where is the map? You have it. That's what you think. It might interest you to know that by now, the map is in the hands of Bob McGuire. You'll never see it again, Ebor. You're not only going to jail, but you lost the jewels of the Genghis Khan. You're through. What? So you haven't the map? You'll never see it again, Ebor. For that, you die, Bradley. Slave, my rifle. You won't get away with this. No one will ever know what happened to you, Bradley. You and your servant will be found dead. <laughs> if you have anything to say, this is your last chance. I wouldn't give you the satisfaction of saying anything, Ebor. All right, Bradley. Now you die. Oh, no, he doesn't. What? Oh, no, 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 no. Will Shanghai Lil be successful in her daring attempt to rescue Jungle Jim? The adventures you have just heard dramatized will appear in full-color action pictures in the Comic Weekly, the big Comic Weekly distributed with your Hearst Sunday newspaper everywhere. In the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure, you will find all the famous characters who live in the world of color pictures. There's the Cats and Yammer Kids, Jigs and Maggie, Barney Google, Toots and Casper, The Little King, Flash Gordon, See all these famous characters in your copy of next Sunday's Comic Weekly. And don't forget our date next week, same time, same station, for a continuation of the adventures of Jungle Jim. Jungle Jim!